mix. Good morning, everyone. How are we going today? We've, uh, it's a lovely day. Sun's shining, no wind, no rain. Not. It's about four degrees, blowing a gale, and looks like it's just about to start raining. But we've got some lambs, crossbred lambs, that are contracted to go to be sold. These are ones um, that have been on a loosened paddock um, on adjustment, and then we're also getting the ones off our loosen as well. But they're, they're, they're forward contracted, so they've been locked in at a price, and they'll be going straight to the abattoir on Wednesday. They've got to be at a certain weight, between 48 and 58 kilos. So we've got to weigh them and mark them, and any ones that aren't, aren't in that weight bracket, they, they'll have to stay here. And either sold during the, in the yards or a bit later on. Hey, <coughs> sit down. Hey. So 48 to 50 on the shoulder and 50 to 58 on the rump. Hey. They go in there and then the gate goes automatically on them. So he gets a mark on the rump. Too heavy. About half of them weigh, there's about 200 in this mob. We've got 300 contracted, but it's half and half between this place and the other place, Doughboy, up the top of the hill. So, get 150 from here. Plus we haven't made the ones from our loosen yet, so... asking why we put muzzles on the dogs it's just so that the dogs aren't too hard on the lambs and bite them which can cause infection before they before they go to market so the muzzles just stop that from happening it's got nothing to do with their vicious towards us or anything no it's just just to, just so they're not so hard on the sheep that's all get it here here I said maybe not you. Hey! You're not a sheep. What are you doing in there? Max, sit, sit, sit. 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 Yes. That's what I thought. That's so. Go back. Go back. He makes. Alrighty, so they're all weighed now. I just counted all the green dots then. There's about 146 green dotters. So, as I think I mentioned before, we split them up into two groups. There was 40 to 50, 48 to 50 kilos and then 50 to 58 kilos. So, I'll draft off all the green dotters and then we'll see how many we can get out of these other mob in our loosen. Um, some of them were a bit later and bit younger and shorn them later so they might be uh, either a little bit might be a little bit too small but then there was also some older ones that we originally put on there um, which might be too big so the ones that are too big will probably go over to yas sale yard so the over 58 kilos because uh, they're getting a pretty good price in the yards at the moment it kicked last week um, so we'll probably do that either this week or next well next week we won't get time this week so because we are, because they're contracted like a forward contract, and we had we had to weigh them because we'll actually get um, docked or what's the word? Yeah, docked for over and overweight and underweight lambs. So that's that's part of the conditions of forward contracting. You got to have them a certain weight. Hey hey hey! I can hardly move my mouth. It's that cold. Well, cold for me. 
Some of you guys probably think I'm just whinging. It's not even below zero, but it feels like that. There we go, seven and a half degrees, feels like 2.1. So maybe I'm just whinging. It's bloody cold anyway. Go back. So I just draft all these green dots off. And the ones with no mark like him, he's, he's too heavy. Those two are too heavy, obviously. Um, so we didn't, we didn't, we didn't mark the ones that were too heavy or too light. Here, Maggie. Here, Maggie. Get a wipe for you. Good girl. Go back. Go back. Alrighty, so we've weighed the ones off our loose one as well now and drafted them off. Now we're going up to Doughboy to weigh the lambs up there. So the, this, these 300 contracted lambs are split half between here and uh, up there, so 150 each. So we're going to go weigh them now, but we're going to weigh them with these better scales because those other ones, if you know anything about the scales, you know that those other ones are the cheaper ones. We didn't actually mean to buy them. We um, we did order these, another set of these True Test load bars, but for some reason they sent us load bars and the monitor of the of the other of those other ones. So they're just not as good. They're nowhere near as accurate. You can't record on them, um, and these are just these are just so much better. So we're going to use. We've got true test load bars up there, just no monitor. So we'll take, well, it's an old monitor, but they still work on these newer monitors. So we'll take this up there. Obviously we did originally buy the tr this, this true test monitor and load bars, but when we bought that sheep handler um, or sheep immobilizer, we got them to put that, put, put, the, put our load bars in there. And so now it's sort of permanently in there. You can't really take them out easily. So all we wanted was load bars, so we could use it on this, this um, crate and things, but yeah. Let's them. So these ones are on chicory, these ones here, and then the ones at the top there, they are on adjustment on loosen, just sort of down the road a bit. Hey, 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 hey. Da, da, da. This place is up, up a bit higher on top of the hill and it's, yeah, the yards aren't as wet, which is good, but it's nearly twice as windy, I think. Alrighty, so they're all weighed now. Just gonna draft these ones off. There's a few, there's a few um, dirty ones in them. They just need a crutch. So we'll do them. Sorry, I'm having trouble with these GoPro batteries in this cold weather. I think they're getting to like 50% and then saying low power shutting off. So I don't know what's going on there. I have heard they are a bit temperamental like that. There's a few advantages to contract to forward contracting lambs like this, and the major benefit I suppose is is you know what price you're getting. So these these lambs locked in at 830 cents a kilo. That's carcass weight, but not live weight. So that's probably the biggest advantage to forward contracting. And at the time, 
So these were contracted a, few, a month or so ago. Um, at the time, they were worth more too. But um, this week, by the sound of it, I didn't hear the market report today, but Dad said it jumped sort of 10 to 20 bucks, which um, means it's probably going. They probably would would have been worth more this week in the yards. But um, all those heavier lambs, they'll they'll go probably go to the yards. I think by the sound of it, which will be good. So. Um, Dad will do the first load in the morning. I've got to go, cr I've got to go crutching and then um, hopefully I'll finish crutching before that and then I'll do the second load. Sort of probably about a five hour, four and a half, five hour round trip to Gundagai. Yeah, it'll be good. It's still, I'm just going around the ewes. Like obviously I've been up, growing up on this far, on my farm my whole life, but I've been away at uni for the last four years. But this is my first full year on farm and you know, during lambing and all this, all this stuff. It still amazes me. We're four or five weeks into lambing now and just how resilient the little lambs are to, to you know, put up with this weather. I mean, obviously there's plenty of cover in this paddock for them to get away and their mums sort of shield them a bit. It's funny you go around and their mums are sort of sitting into the wind and then their lambs are tucked in behind them. It's still pretty cool to see how, how tough they are and what they can get through. And obviously them getting through all this all this cooler weather now, that'll that'll really make them stronger for the rest of their life too. They'll be used to these conditions. It's just that first, first it's just that first drink of milk. If they can get that first drink of milk with all the colostrum and and all the goodness in it, they they they'll generally they can get through anything almost I reckon. But if they don't get that first drink, it's almost it's almost night and day. Like if they don't get that first drink, they're probably not going to live. But if they get that first drink, they're pretty well right every time. Still wet. <sighs> Anyway guys, I think that's going to be the end of another video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, apologies for the outside shots and things. Yeah, that, that GoPro, this GoPro batteries didn't like the cold weather. Neither did I, but <laughs> that's the way it goes with farming. Um, I've just got a few little jobs to do now. Move these other sheep back and um, feed a few animals and things. So I think I'll let you go there. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And with that, we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty guys, see ya, bye. What do you reckon you deserve a bit of a snack? What do you reckon? With the sheep pellets? Not bad? Hmm. Yes, not bad.